friends, welcome to Creating Essence. I'm Annie. Uh, today you're going to see what it's like to be sev in seventh grade for me. <laughs> Start with your alphabet. Okay. A, 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 B, 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 C, C, C D, D, D. Deaf. Learn. Like, like you like something. What is like as in comparison? Today's word that we're learning about that I'd like you to write on the bottom of your pages is echolocation. We're going to learn what that means in the story, okay? And we're reading 106 to 107. We might read a little more than that. This way of seeing is called echolocation. Basically, that means they use echoes to locate where everything is. All right, Annie, tell me something new that you learned in science today. That if people are doing things to bats, like killing mosquitoes, they're starving them. And bats are not bad. They are cleanup crew. <laughs> I don't know where you guys put it. They clean up bugs no! so that we don't get sick from mosquitoes. And, no! and if people decided that they believed this myth that bats carry, that bats commonly carry rabies, so they decided to kill all the bats, what kind of problems might we have as a result of the ecological impact of killing the bats? So many mosquitoes, like a trillion mosquitoes. A lot of mosquitoes, huh? <laughs> yeah. And then what do cities start having to do after they've killed all the bats? They would have to go around spreading poison everywhere. All right. We're going to clean up science, and then what's next? Math. You seem really excited about math. Kind of. <laughs> what are you working on today, Chickadee? Decimals. How to add and subtract decimals, and then how to multiply decimals. I think mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah, that's it. Fun times. is going to check it. So now I'm doing my reading. Mm -hmm. The Diary of a Young Girl. to do my language. I finished my language and Mama is going to correct it and I'm going to do my spelling next. I am doing corrections on reviewing punctuation for language. Solomon thinks that you should play with muffins. <laughs> Does Sully help you a lot with your schoolwork? No. He's distracting. Oh, really? You don't say. The master distractor is, is distracting? He is. Now he's shoving a muffin in his face. <laughs> What's a kid? Now he's dancing. You let sister do her work. <laughs> All right, get back to your work, honey. Okay. Oh, thank you for the hugs. That's pushing me down. <laughs> I have 
my language corrections and now I am going to do copy work. Copy work is my pen chip. Um, I have finished my schoolwork and it is 12.03. I started about 9 o'clock this morning. The hardest part of my schoolwork was probably language corrections. <laughs> My favorite part of the school day was probably uh, doing my reading. I like the new book that I have started, The Diary of a Young Girl. <laughs> my plans for the rest of the day, probably stuff and things. Don't really have plans. <laughs> my favorite part about being homeschooled instead of going to public school would probably be Stay in pajamas. <laughs> but you're not wearing pajamas. Yeah, I know. But some days I wear pajamas all day. <laughs> My friends would probably be in school still for another three hours. And I'm free for the rest of the day. <laughs> and I have no homework. <laughs> Thanks so much for sticking around today, friends. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye!